Hello everyone, it's Stro Blue, and I'm going to be going over some methods to get horses within the game of Bannerlord for little to no cost and extremely easily. But before we get in the guide, I kindly ask that you all consider subscribing by clicking the sus subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Thank you. But anyways, let's hop right into this tutorial on how to easily get horses to move across the map the fastest and fulfill all of your army's needs. Okay, so first of all, horses are extremely important within the game, whether it to be get, to get horse archers, to upgrade troops into cavalry, or just move across the map as fast as possible. As well, troops, as they progress more and more down the cavalry tree, you're going to need war horses, which can end up getting quite expensive, especially as you need more and more of them as your army progresses and levels up more and more. And this method in this tutorial goes over one of the easiest and cost-effective methods to get horses in order to accomplish and fulfill every single one of your army needs whether it be speed across the map or upgrading troops in general and personally i found this method to be extremely effective in accomplishing these so let's just hop right into it okay this is not necessarily a requirement but it's most definitely something i would recommend before you actually use this method this prerequisite is simply being a part of a kingdom that is at war of course, you can still do this method as your own kingdom, as long as you are at war with another faction, or going to war. And you don't have to necessarily be a part of any kingdom in order to do this, but you risk angering an entire faction that will want to brutally slaughter you and your troops because of what you are about to do. And it's best to immediately do this method as soon as the factions declare war on another or you're declaring war on a faction. Because other lords may beat you to the punch, which will be extremely frustrating and make this method very lack lackluster and definitely less effective overall. And this method is extremely effective when you are at war with the Empire, Kazai, or Azurai, because the horses that come from those nations are simply some of the best horses that you can get within the game, and this can also lead to insane profits as well. But I do recommend the Azurai and the Kazai over the Empire because their horses sell for more in different parts of the country, and their horses are just better horses overall, with the Steppe Horse and the Desert Horse being better than the Midlands Palfrey. But other than that, let's get into the next part. Okay, so next, one of the first things you're going to want to do is travel to a poor and innocent village that has nothing to do with the entirety of the war whatsoever. But this village, this village needs to have horses as its primary production. That is the absolute key to doing this method because the horses need to be produced in the village. Like, it is entirely important, so I'm going to repeat it. Horses need to be the primary production of this village if you are wanting to get horses from this method. And basically, keep in mind, you are going to need um, nothing too major, uh, somewhat of an army, but nothing too major of an army, army in order to pull this method off. You're going to have to fight off a town militia, which may prove to be difficult if you have an army of recruit, recruits. However, you're going to want to do a quick save before you start attacking them and raiding them, just in case a massive army pulls up on your murdering and pillaging of the poor little horse village. So, going off that, you're going to want to raid the village, and most likely the poor militia will challenge you to a fight, and you will slaughter them no problem. So, you're going to want to take a hostile action, and you're going to want to raid the villages. See, you have arrived at Cantarion, or whatever village, insert village name here, to raid it. Some of the residents have gather, gathered to resist you, so you're going to want to brutally and merciless, mercilessly, mercilessly put this village out of its rebellion by slaughtering the local town militia. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so once you are done brutally murdering the poor innocent villagers and the poor innocent local militia that's done nothing to you whatsoever, you will continue on to steal and raid all the goods from the helpless villagers. And by those goods, I mean horses for absolutely no cost to you whatsoever. And all it's going to take is just a little bit of time to completely end up raiding the villages. Uh, end up 
completely raiding the village. For example, we just get the Midlands Palfrey from it and the Mule for practically free. Like, there's no cost at all, just a little bit of time. And the more villages you do this to, the more horses you will get overall. And now, once you accomplish this, you'll be able to start zooming across the map and leaving enemies in your dust. And you can continue to pick off any innocent villagers and run away from any lords that try to stop you because you're now the fastest army on the map. And you can also use these horses to upgrade your army to horse archers or to simply upgrade your troops. And occasionally in the, in the really like prosperous villages, you'll find war horses, which you will pillage from the village as well, which is really awesome and makes upgrading your army much cheaper than it normally would be and i highly recommend at the start of a war go through every single village that has midlands palfrey or any t other type of horse being pri its primary production and raiding those villages in order to get the most horses possible to fuel your army's needs but anyways that concludes the tutorial on how to get the uh, on the most easy method to get horses within the game of Bannerlord. Thank you to every single one of you for watching. I highly suggest that you watch any of my other videos, especially the most profitable money-making method. I build an entire monopoly, which is pretty interesting. Elon Musk is in it, so I highly recommend you watch it. But anyways, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. I do appreciate every single one of you that watched the video. It means so much that I'm able to keep YouTubing and that you keep me entertained during quarantine because I know it's crazy for all y'all with corona and stuff. I don't know what it's like for y'all in your in y'all's countries, whether it's be me here in the US of A or anything else, but I hope all y'all are doing good and y'all stay safe. But thank you guys for watching. Please feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I kindly ask that you consider subscribing. And this has been Dro Blue, so see all y'all later.